when it comes to relationships, whether it's a marriage, a friendship, or fellowship, there will come a moment when you will face various trials. It can go from small disagreements to eventually a painful separation. During these storms, things are being sad. Things are being done. Things are being felt. Sometimes we experience pain from the people we thought they would never hurt us. Sometimes we experience rejection from the ones we thought they would never leave. Sometimes we experience the biggest storms with the person we love the most. And as we go through this suffering, this pain, we ask God, why? Would you be surprised if I say that the love is worth the pain? You see, when we start to follow Jesus, we start to become more like Him and less of ourselves. He gives us a heart of flesh, a heart that looks exactly like His, a heart that will love in the same way how God loves the world. For God loves even the ones that don't love Him. For God sacrificed Himself for the ones that would reject Him over and over again. For God loves us while we crucify Him each time when we fall into sin. For God's love is so strong that nothing can separate us from His love. And that is exactly what He is trying to form in us. God is continuously refining us. And the best way to do it is through the person whom you feel close and safe with. It's the person you share your deepest secrets with. A person that will understand you like no one else. It's the person who is intentionally sent by God, just for you, whether it's a spouse, a friend, or a family member. This person was meant to be in your life and to be part of your walk in Christ. It was a gift from God. Let's be honest, there is no one who can test us in such amount than the person we care about the most. And one reason why God does it through your loved ones is because God knows that your love towards them makes you want to fight for this relationship. And the only way to make it work is to become humble, to reflect and repent. It's by taking the sacrificial role and to submit to each other in the fear of Christ. God uses this as a tool to shape you and to create this unconditional love within you. It's a live representation of the gospel of grace. It's an ongoing, vivid illustration of what it costs to love an imperfect person unconditionally, the same way Christ has loved us. When storms appear, it may feel it's breaking you completely. But what if the thing that feels as if it's breaking you is actually helping you become who God wants you to be? How crazy it may sound, but in the breaking, you're becoming too. The Bible says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. With other words, consider it joy, not because it hurts, but because it's worth it. Consider the breaking a joy because the testing, breaking, and suffering produces a greater purpose. Consider it joy because you are being sanctified, meaning made more like Christ. God doesn't allow trials to break down our faith, but to raise it up instead. God doesn't permanently break those He loves, rather He seeks to make us whole. When we want to be able to love like Christ, 
We have to go through these storms to eventually develop forgiveness, grace, and unconditional love. How will you learn to forgive without being hurt? How will you learn to love unconditionally when you isolate yourself from others? How will you be able to love an imperfect person unconditionally if you only seek for perfection? How will you be able to fight and to endure till the end in a marriage if you cannot endure outside a marriage? When we pray for a person that will bring us closer to God, it will be a person we will face the most challenges with. If there are no challenges, there is no growth. For iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. So instead to see this as a burden, we have to see it as a gift. We have to see it as one of the best opportunities to grow closer to God. And how great is it to do it with someone that has the exact same goal? You don't have to fight the good fight alone. So the next time when you go through a storm, instead of attacking each other, attack the enemy who causes the storm. When someone makes a mistake, instead of condemning, forgive like God has also forgiven you. When someone is casting out their feelings, instead of disagreeing, validate their feelings and become understanding like God understands you when no one else can. When disagreements occur, instead of fighting, listen to each other and take it into prayer for God will bring a solution. When you feel hopeless, instead of giving up, Pray for strength to keep fighting the good fight, for God never gives up on you too. Don't allow the devil to destroy the things that God wants to create between you and your loved ones. We can delay our walk by the decisions we make. You can't see your reflection in boiling water, and you can't see the truth in a state of anger. When the water calm, Clarity comes. Are we going to stay prideful? Or do we choose to become humble and to come to repentance? Do we choose to see them through our own eyes? Or do we choose to start to see them through God's eyes? The time that you spent with each other together in Christ is valuable. So now when you still have the opportunity, give your all and make the best of it. For we never know when it can be the last time. Now that we live in the last days in which the love of many will grow cold, let our love grow deeper. Let our love eliminate resentment. Let our love represent the love of Christ. Let our love be stronger than the challenges we face. For we all have one goal, one task, and one outcome, and that is to glorify God in everything we do and to be reconciled with Christ on the day He returns. Let our love that we have in Christ show the world that there is still hope. Love one another unconditionally and don't give up, for God will always make it work for the good for the ones that love Him.